Welcome, everyone, to Demon Souls. Yes, I have promised this for quite a while now. It's finally being done to come back to the nightmare. I personally... Why bring this up? I mean, technically the server ain't around. I mean, I, I kid you not, server is... Server is no longer in existence, so whatever reason it may uh, be, server ain't there no more, so we will do what we can. Okay. Good enough. Alright. Now to create... Oof. I forgot how horrible they look. Okay. Well. Time to create our character. Gosh, this has been forever. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. Okay. I think we got a character now. Not gonna lie, the customization's not as atrocious as what I remembered. Like, I thought they were gonna be bad, but no. No, not too awful bad, actually. Alrighty. So, this is gonna be a full playthrough. Um. Will admit, I'm kind of scared because King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, Whoa. and that a colorless fog had swept in unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands, near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Well, we're going to find out in probably the next hour or so. Depending on. 
But yeah, this is going to be a full on playthrough. I'm going to try to find all the bosses, both secret and mandatory. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know Brave what's soul, going to happen. Who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Wonder if the old one has any relation with the great one. Wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, technically, all of the Souls games, with the accession of Dark Souls, aren't in canon. So, I mean, it's one of those things, you know? Now, if I can remember how to... But, yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. Only two souls? Oh, dear lord, this is going to be a painful, painful playthrough. It's bad enough that the game is already kind of giving me a little... Huh. But, there's actually a reason why I picked the, uh... Well, okay. But there's a reason why I picked the road class. Because everyone claims that it's the most overpowered class in the uh, Demon Souls. So that's why I picked him. Because I want to make certain I do this right. And actually get through this and actually beat it. Plus, when you think about it, I've defeated... Uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, Bloodborne, and now 3. And I platinum Dark Souls 1, 2, and Bloodborne. So, I mean, it only makes sense that I should go ahead and attempt to beat this one. However painful this will be. Huh. Compared to Dark Souls, this game is actually a little bit more forgiven. might actually get through this. Yeah, I might be able to do it. But, one way to find out, right? That's to actually attempt it. Uh, excuse me. I do apologize if at times I'm a little bit scared, or... Well, yeah, I am kind of scared, because it has been forever since I played this game. I mean, we're talking, like, since the day it first came out. I was excited about it because I saw trailers of it, and I was like, this game looks so amazing, I cannot wait. I play it, and I got so ticked off about it. Like, I got ri- <laughs> If you want to define my rage- Asked Del Mar and my best friend TJ. They were both there and they both attempt to try to do it. And it failed. It failed miserably. But, uh, I'm going to actually attempt to get through this somehow. Whew. You had a lot more health, didn't you? Hopefully I can do this. It's kind of... It, it may not be a good thing considering the fact that I went from... Uh... New to old. So it's kind of like one of those... Um... I de-evolved myself. <laughs> Rather than getting better, I just... Eh, hey boy. Ooh, now that's powerful! Holy shit, that spell. Man, no wonder people... Yeah, 
Yeah, of course he would have his shield up. Oh, okay, that was just a residue from the magic. But damn! Uh, rocks aren't supposed to move that lightly, unless they're made of styrofoam, in which case, that may very well be the case. Hmm. And since I'm not in online mode, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about, uh, uh, invaders, except for the NPCs. But, like I said, since, you know, the server has been down, I don't even know how long it's been down. I think it's been down for, like, I want to say a good... Let's see, this game came out in 2008-ish. So, probably about eight, seven, eight years now? I don't know. How long do servers usually last? Like, Realistically, on any game, how long do servers usually last? Okay. This is ridiculous. Had I known that this character was going to be this strong, I would have at least had a better chance of making a good attempt. Where does this lead to? Oh, okay, it doesn't lead to anywhere. I was trying to figure out, I was like, does this lead to anywhere? No, it doesn't. It's not this fog, it's the next one, so, uh... I'm, 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 I'm scared. I am literally scared. Because I don't know... Oh. One more soldier. Shit. Let's see. Are there any other soldiers that I should be aware of? Doesn't look good. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, uh... I am literally scared. I I've never been this nervous. Because I've never beaten this one. Like, literally, I've never beaten any boss. Never. So, if I beat this one... Okay, here we go. Oh crap! It's already started. Doing pretty good. Oh no! I actually wanted to attempt to beat him. <laughs> no. And so begins my painful playthrough of this. Didn't even beat the first boss that you encounter. And I was doing so good, too. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. Oh 
drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five archstones will connect them to the Okay. Okay. What do I get? Uh, okay. Just want to make certain if I didn't get anything good or something. I didn't. Okay. Oh! I get to keep my souls? That's weird. Oh, wow. Any more? I hope. No. Sadly, I don't have any more. Okay. Where'd she go? Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntaria. Okay, yeah, but where did she go? She disappeared. Okay, why she disappear? Surely to goodness, you're somewhere nearby, I hope. At least to where I can level up? Wow. Didn't realize there were this many NPCs. Oh my. Has got a- Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. But it's, it's a trade with your soul. Let's see. Ah, I need a shard of sharp stone. Okay. What's the hurry? Where are you off to? Have you any manners? Yeah, I'm trying to get around, so... Sorry. Okay. Altaria Palace, here we come. In the beginning of a disaster. Couldn't even beat the first freaking boss still. <sighs> this game. This game is going to chew me up and spit me on and then chew me up again. <sighs> oh well. Like I said, I, I this game has been like the nightmare of nightmares for me. Mostly because I can never seem to beat it. And here I am. I still can't seem to beat it. Oh, yee. I've always thought that was the first boss that you fight. But it wasn't, so thank goodness it's not. Or otherwise, that would be the worst first boss to ever fight. Oy. Either way, though. We will see what we can do. I think there's an item. Yeah, there is. This is gonna be a joyride. 
Just one of the best, really. That wrong one. Okay. I've got this. I've still got this. Thought you got me, huh? I've got news for you. I've got you. Okay, where... Boy, that comes in handy. Especially whenever I gotta deal with a number of you guys. Whew. Too bad it doesn't work on every enemy. Hopefully I'll find a better weapon. I mean, the rapier is pretty good right now, but I would love to get a better weapon of my choice. This is going to be really rough. Uh, 